Well, hello, my builder friends. I am so excited to see you here at SR Kids Church. Whether this is your first time or your 70 kajillionth time, I am really delighted to see you. Hey, just in case we haven't met before, my name is Christopher. And like I said, I am so glad that you are here. So today, in SR Kids Church, we're going to take some time and we're going to look at some ways that our, our emotions, the way our, our hearts act, the way that we feel things and some of the things that we feel. We're going to talk about times that we feel lonely or times that we feel sad. And maybe uh, sometime this week or last week, maybe you felt one of those things. You felt lonely or sad. I, I, I know I did. I definitely felt a bit sad earlier in the week and I felt lonely once or twice too. So I'm really excited that we're going to spend some time together. I'm going to give you over to my friends, uh, some of our building friends, and they're going to help us with singing some songs. They're going to tell us some stories out of the, the Bible to help us know what we can do and how we can work with our feelings of, of sadness or loneliness. And after those after those stories and after that songs, we're going to come back and you're going to see me again and I'll get to say goodbye and a couple of other things. So, all right, have some fun with my builder friends and I will see you back here in a couple of minutes. Hey everyone, my name is Telly Toolbox and I'm so glad you're here to be builder buddies with me today. We work hard to help all of our friends. Before we can get to work, we have to make sure we're dressed and ready. Everyone put on your hard hat and buckle on your tool belts. Now that you're dressed, everyone stand up to sing a song. Guess what? God loves you and he wants to be your friend. Guess what? God loves you and he wants to be sit back down. Builder Buddies, it seems that we have a problem on the job site today. Let's take a look. Oh no! It looks like Skip the tow truck's feelings may be getting out of control. Skip needs to stop and name what he is feeling. Builder Buddies, do you think Skip looks happy or sad? Skip does look sad. Now that Skip has stopped and named what he is feeling, it's time to look around and see what is making him feel that way. Builder Buddies, 
Do you see anything that could be making Skip feel so very sad? I think I see it. Do you? It looks like there are two other trucks that are being mean to Skip. These trucks are diggers. They look different and do different jobs than Skip does. They look like they are making fun of Skip because he is different from them. Now that we've helped Skip stop to name his feelings and look around to see what is making him feel that way, it's time to listen. Builder Buddies, click on your listening ears and get ready to hear a story that's sure to help us deal with any feeling that comes our way. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my builder buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right! This true story from God's Word is about Jonah. Can you say Jonah? Jonah! God asked Jonah to go to a city called Nineveh and tell the people living there to stop doing bad things and start loving God and loving others. But Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. Jonah was so sad God had asked him to go to Nineveh that he ran away to find a ship that was sailing to a faraway city. Once he was on board, Jonah went to the bottom deck of the ship and went to sleep. Shortly after they sailed out to sea, a very bad storm started. The boat was being tossed this way and that way. Builders, let me see you rock back and forth like the ship in the storm. That's it. Well, all the men on the ship were scared that it would sink. But Jonah was still sound asleep. When the captain woke him up and he saw the bad storm, Jonah was very sad. Jonah told the captain that God had made the sea stormy because he was running away from something God had asked him to do. Jonah was sad about what he had done, so he told the captain to throw him overboard. They didn't want to do it, but as soon as the men on the ship tossed Jonah into the water, the storm stopped. Just then, a huge fish came out of the water and swallowed up Jonah. Don't be scared, though. God loved Jonah, and he sent the big fish to keep Jonah from drowning in the water. Jonah stayed in the fish for three days and three nights. While he was inside the fish, Jonah was still sad about not obeying God, so Jonah asked God to forgive him. After the third day, God told the big fish to spit Jonah out onto dry land, and the fish did just that. Jonah was so happy to be out of the belly of the fish, and he was also happy to go to Nineveh and do what God had asked him to do. When Jonah was sad, God loved him. When you're sad, God loves you too. Thanks for listening. Here's one of my special tools to help you remember what you heard from God's Word today. When you're feeling sad, God loves you. You can use me to turn your frown upside down as you remember that when I'm sad, God loves me. Builder Buddies, let me hear you say this after me. When I'm sad, when I'm sad, God, God loves me. Loves me. Skip the tow truck doesn't have to feel sad anymore because he knows that God loves him. God loves Skip so much and created Skip to be the special truck that he is. Skip doesn't have to feel sad that he's different from other trucks because God loves him just the way he is. You see, Builder Buddies, when we stop, look, and listen, we will see that God is greater than our feelings and that he knows everything. Everyone stand up and let's sing a song about that now. I can stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. 
then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God knows everything. I can stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God is greater. Greater than our feelings And He knows He knows Everything God knows everything I can stop And think about what I feel I can look for help and see If what I feel is real I can listen To hear What God has got to say Then I can move along And have a good day then I can move along and have a good day. You sounded great! Now it's your turn to help a friend like you. You did it! And the next time you're feeling sad, just remember that God loves you. I hope you'll come back next week, but until then, check out this project designed just for you and your family to work on at your home construction site. Have a handy dandy day! Welcome back, my builder friends. What did you think of that? Wasn't that so neat? I, I am so glad that you got to learn about the story of Jonah. Wow, could you imagine having a big fish swim you around in its belly? That's, whoa, I don't know. I, I think I would rather just stay on a boat or, or, or maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a submarine. I don't know, it's just being in a fish's belly, that's so weird. Well, the, one of the things that we were learning about in today's story is what to do when we feel sad. I don't know about you, but I know I feel sad sometimes. Sometimes I feel sad when I watch movies or shows that can make me cry because <laughs> they're sad parts. Sometimes I can feel sad when my friend says something I don't like or doesn't do something I like or when I can't see them when I want to. There's lots of reasons that we can feel sad. There's lots of reasons why you might feel sad. But the best thing that we can do is we can, or one of the best things that we can do is we can take those feelings, those feelings of sadness, and we can share them with God. Because God loves you. God loves me. So when I'm sad, I can tell God because He loves me so much. Well, I want to remind us of our two really important rules, and then our memory verse, and then we'll, uh, then we'll leave the workshop for today. All right, are you ready? Remember our two super important rules? The first rule is love God. And the second rule is love people. That's right, love others. Yes, exactly. 
we love God and we love others because that's what our uh, what our, one of our best friends, Jesus, asked us to do. So we go and we make sure we are kind and forgiving and patient to the people around us, even when we don't want to. And by loving the people that God loves, that's helping us to love God too. Isn't that so awesome? All right. Last thing is the memory verse. I hope you've been practicing. I've been working on it. I'm not all that great with actions and memory verses, but I'm going to try my best. Are you ready? All right. Let's see if we can do this together. God is greater than our feelings, and He knows everything. That's 1 John 3.20. Why don't we do that one more time? God is greater than our, uh, than our feelings. And He knows everything. 1 John 3, 20. That's it. That's all for me. Have a great day. Well, I'll see you next week here back in the workshop. Goodbye!